turn off the lights and go full screen because it's the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. The Tower of Terror. In what's supposed to be the happiest place on earth, an ominous mock grand hotel towers above the awestruck happy crowd below. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in Disney's California Adventure Park is a free fall ride that's dedicated to the popular TV show, The Twilight Zone. Now over the years, the Tower of Terror attraction became known for one particularly creepy real life ghost story. It is said that a Disney cast member suddenly suffered a massive heart attack and passed away while welcoming guests onto the ride. Many visitors and employees claim to have seen his ghost and have reported random noises and flickering of the lights, even when the ride is not in operation. Sam Worth was visiting the park and recorded videos to capture the fun trip with his family. To his surprise, he also captured something he did not expect at the Tower of Terror. A strange translucent apparition can be seen on one of the levels at the Tower of Terror. Now many of Sam's viewers believe the figure to simply be another hologram on the ride. But I looked through hours of footage of this ride on YouTube and I have not found any evidence of there being a hologram at this particular spot on the ride. In fact, this is the area on the ride where a picture is taken of the guests. So the creepy apparition remains a mystery. But Sam isn't the only one who captured bizarre footage on the Tower of Terror. In this next video, a maintenance man is doing a routine safety and quality check on the Disney ride. He's completely alone. Or is he? The uncut footage is over two minutes long, but to save time, I just cut the video down to the spookiest parts. Did you see it? A bizarre figure appears on a seat behind the maintenance man, but it's only visible for less than a second, three twentieths of a second to be exact. The figure then moves two seats away right next to the oblivious worker and it appears two more times. Again, I check to make sure that there are no hologram effects in place in the seating area and there are none. Also, the hologram effects that appear on the ride show multiple characters, and none of them are seated as these figures appear to be. So it seems very unlikely that this would be a reflection. So just what is this? Could it be that the spirit of the man who suddenly lost his life on the Disney ride is still around? Or is it just some very, very strange light reflection? You decide. Mirror, mirror. Paranormal investigator Amy from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV is joined by fellow ghost hunters Moxley's Paranormal and Ghosts on Trent as they stay at the infamously haunted 30 East Drive in Pontefract, England. They say that long ago on this very same location, a monk was hanged for taking the life of a young girl. The house is said to be haunted by his angry spirit, which they call the Black Monk. Throughout the house, there are CCTV cameras installed and one of them captures a very bizarre and chilling event as Amy simply looks at herself in the upstairs bedroom mirror. She makes like a creepy smile. Oh. <laughs> Amy's face appears to distort into a horrifying gaping maw. Her mouth opens up to such an impossible extent that the investigators believe that they might have captured a paranormal transfiguration. The video is definitely very creepy and doesn't appear to be a digital glitch. But just what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. 
You can watch the full two-part investigation at the Haunted 30 East Drive over on the YouTube channel, Shadow Hunters UK TV. Nukes Top 5 Merch. So just a quick little ad, but I finally got Nukes Top 5 Merch. We have spooky t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, and other things that we'll be adding by the time this video is posted. You can order stuff online at nukestop5.myshopify.com or in the merch shelf under this video. Also, there's a link to the Nukes Top 5 store in the video description. And to make sure that you get your stuff by Christmas, be sure to order by Monday, December 12th. And yeah, that's only like two days away from now. So sorry about that, but we got everything online as quickly as we possibly could. I've literally been up for days now with no sleep. So order now so you'll get your stuff by the holidays. And I mean like order right now or tomorrow or very, very soon. Seriously. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for all your support and very, very happy holidays to you. The Railway to Nowhere YouTube gamer and urban explorer Mr. Omega often goes on overnight challenges to explore abandoned and spooky places in his country of New Zealand. This time he plans to stay overnight in the deserted Spooner's Tunnel, an old train pass that was dug out of the mountain by hand back in 1891. Unfortunately, the railway line suffered financial difficulties and the tunnel was never connected to the railway system. The tunnel was eventually closed and dismantled back in 1955. The passageway was dubbed, quote, the railway to nowhere. YouTuber Mr. Omega decides that the creepy old abandoned tunnel is the perfect spot to film an overnight challenge. Okay, here we are here. The only person I have with me is Max. You know, man's best friend and everything. Oh man, look at that. There's a vehicle over there that's burnt out too. Oh man, look at it. Hope it's not a popular spot for people to come up and do gosh knows what. Okay, I'll pull over here. Okay, before we even go into the tunnel, as you can see, it's totally pitch black. Uh, it's too dark to go in there without any form or source of light. So uh, that's the next thing we need to get out of the pack. Oh, there's my baby. <laughs> this is my massive dolphin torch. Uh, it's a really good torch, as you can see. It pretty much shine right down to the end of the tunnel there, so uh, this thing will do the trick, I'm sure. So Mr. Omega and his loyal doggy Max head into the tunnel to find a spot to set up camp for the night. I managed to secure myself a place to uh, stay for the night, and as you can see, out here, it is totally dark now, it's, the sun's gone right down, there's no more light left. If I turn my light off, now this, this is the freaky thing, when I turn this light off, it is totally pitch black and silent. You ready? Here we go. Wow. That is just, that's spoopy, if you ask me. I feel good having the dog here. Where are you, Max? Max, there you are, there he is. I feel better having my dog with me. I mean, obviously, if I didn't have Max, it'd be a little bit creepy. Obviously, I feel like safer with my dog uh, being here. He will always bark if anyone comes uninvited to uh, visit us in the night. So I'll always wake up. I'm a light sleeper as well, so I'm always going to wake up to hearing Max's bark. Don't know, Max, I'm always going to hear what you're going to say to me. Around 4 a.m., things start to get really weird. Omega discovers that he has no cell reception inside the tunnel, and so along with Dog Max, he heads back to the opening to check his phone. After that, he starts to trek back inside the tunnel, and then this happens. We're gonna complete our overnight challenge. Yes, yes we do. All right, Max, let's go back in. Here it is. Woo! Max! Damn, I hear some sort of tune out Max, come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Max. Who's that? Who's that, Max? What the action? Can you guys, can you guys hear that? Max, where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but there's something. What is that? What 
be. Hello? What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there somebody here? That's just creepy as... What the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? Oh! Max! Hurry up! Max! Max! Get, get on! A creepy little toy is just lying in the middle of the path, playing a warbly rendition of Happy Birthday. Omega turns around and is shocked out of his skin as he sees a man lurching toward him out of a crevice in the tunnel wall. He just makes a run for it. Now, Mr. Omega says that he is absolutely stunned by what happened. He has no idea why anyone would be hiding in the cold abandoned train tunnel at 4 a.m., especially because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, miles away from any house. Another truly baffling part of this incident is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Almost like the man was not even there. And perhaps most disturbing of all, why did whoever this was set out a creepy little toy in the path? Either way, paranormal or not, this encounter is absolutely terrifying. You can watch the entire exploration over on the YouTube channel Mr. Omega. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Weeper. A little over a year ago, a Japanese man who goes by the name Yama Q was looking for a rental home. He found a nice 40 year old renovated house in Japan with an incredibly low rental price. Yama was blown away and he happily signed the rental contract right away. But as you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the home's bathroom from an undisclosed illness. Only four months after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. Yama Q starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasingly spooky activity around his home. Night after night, a mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamakyu is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. One night, Yama is a bit disturbed when a neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The dog is usually quiet and friendly, but this time it seems distressed by something.
The dog aggressively growls and barks at something Yama can't see. The next day, he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home, safe and sound, and friendly as always. But that certainly isn't the end of Yama Q's paranormal problems. Only nine months after moving in, he experiences something truly terrifying. blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yama Q's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomena. Yama orders a thermal imaging camera and waits for his next opportunity to record and capture what's going on in his home. And this is where things take a turn towards the truly bizarre. Because one month later, this happens. With two cameras ready, Yama goes on the attack as he throws boiling hot water at the spot where the weeping voice seems to be coming from. Whatever is making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown, and then all goes quiet. But nothing shows up on the thermal imaging camera. To this day, Yama Q still experiences horrifying events at his haunted home in Japan. But is it real? Could the wailing voice and aggressive knocking be the spirit of the previous owner who passed away in the bathroom? Let me know what you think. A window to the soul. So this is a story that starts weird and just gets weirder. But first, a little bit of history. Way back in 1679, Irish Catholic priest Oliver Plunkett was arrested for supporting the Catholic faith which at the time was considered a serious criminal offense by the English monarchy. He was held in Newgate Prison in London before being executed. And so here's where things get really weird. Over 240 years later, in 1921, Oliver Plunkett's head, yes, just his head, was brought to St. Peter's Church in Drogheda, Ireland, where it was put on display in a garish, ornately decorated glass box. The St. Peter's Church also placed on display the prison door of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell from Newgate Prison, where Plunkett was held for eight months before his execution. YouTube user Vicki Bramshaw was on vacation when she visited St. Peter's Church in Drogheda, Ireland. She is recording the exhibit of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell door when she catches something absolutely unnerving. This is the door of the cell in Newgate Prison, where St. Oliver Plunkett was in prison for eight months. He's a very interesting figure, because he was, the, he was one of the first ecumenical Christian priests. There is a small opening in the ancient jail cell door, 
and some pale ghostly face just seems to peek out of it at them. Yuki says she has no idea what this face could be. She says she has no knowledge of visual effects to fake something like this, and she didn't even notice the face until she reviewed her footage later. So is this the ghost of Oliver Plunkett still peering from his old jail cell door? Or is it just a very, very odd trick of the light? You decide. The Last Stop This next viral video was shared by multiple social media accounts on the internet, but none of them mentioned the original source. The video shows a man inspecting an old abandoned bus somewhere in the rural countryside of Japan. Of course, as you might expect, things take a terrifying turn. As the man approaches the entrance to the bus, a girl can be seen watching him from the window. He quickly looks inside, but there's no one there. Now because there's no source, it's impossible to say whether this footage is real or fake. But as always, I leave that up to you to decide. Mistaken Identity The next few videos were uploaded to TikTok by a widower from Tennessee who prefers to keep his identity anonymous. He says that he's experienced some odd things in his house over the last 11 years, but recently the activity has become much more extreme. He sets up security cameras to capture the bizarre incidents. And he says that he believes that the spirit might be the ghost of his beloved deceased wife coming back to visit him. So early one morning before heading out to work, the man walks into the kitchen to discover this. Well, as you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, but when I got up this morning to get my coffee, uh, I walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys are right that uh, activity seems to be picking up because I have been, you know, doing renovations. I replaced all this stuff. This. Uh, dishwasher, the stove, the oven hood there. Uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen, I noticed the cabinet was open and then I noticed this chair. Uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely <sighs> freaked me out. So When he reviews his ring cam footage, it shows a chair sliding all around the kitchen on its own. And then a pale white figure seems to appear from nowhere and violently tosses the chair to the floor. But things are about to take an even more terrifying turn because one day the man starts to hear something walking up and down his hallway. He goes to investigate and what happens next chills him to his core. Hey everyone. Um Remember how I said uh, I didn't know how I'd react if um, this thing started touching me? <sighs> it started walking towards me. <sighs> and I feel 
feel my hand on my back. I heard someone whisper. I could it was faint. But when I heard it walking away from me, I finally felt like I could move and I, I ran um the whispering. It was a voice. It was um a lot of people. His people seemed stuck. They were all saying, help me. <laughs> hey guys. My uh Paul Walker is back. I'm gonna go into the hallway and see if I can hear. uncontrollably as he explains that he felt a hand on his back and heard multiple voices that seemed to be begging him for help. that the presence haunting his home is the spirit of his deceased wife. He now believes that it might be multiple spirits, or perhaps even something more sinister. But what do you think is going on here? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Something still lives here. A paranormal investigation team from the YouTube channel RC Fun TV travels to an abandoned house in Batambang, Cambodia. Locals claim that in 1994, the land used to be a graveyard for hundreds of deceased men, women, and children. Eventually, the land was sold and the owner had the cemetery excavated and the bodies burned to make room for his new family home. Shortly after the completion of the house, allegedly several members of the family were repeatedly pulled out of their beds by an invisible force. Soon after, the family began to suffer from horrible, unexplained diseases. Fearing that they were cursed by the angry spirits of the former graveyard, they left the home and never returned. The small wooden house has now been abandoned for over 10 years. The Cambodian paranormal team prepares a ceremonial offering for the restless spirits that might be haunting the home. During the preparation, they are interrupted by something they can't explain. Okay, uh ไปมั้ยอันนี้ยืนมาเรียบจอมสมัยนี่เราจอมเป็นหมวกกันอยู่ด้านตรงนี้มันการเกี่ยวกับการเกี่ยวกับการเกี่ยวกับการเกี่
the unexpected loud bang sends the host of the RC Fun TV team into a fit of nervous laughter, but they continue their exploration. The team is a little reluctant to climb the rotting wood stairs of the house and instead head around to the back of the building and climb onto the roof. What happens next is downright chilling. One of the team members comes face to face with a ghoulish pale apparition peeking out of the window. Out of shock, both team members forget their own safety and just jump right off the side of the roof. Luckily, except for some scratches, bruises, and perhaps some deep psychological scars, the two men are otherwise okay. Now, cut to two months later, and the team returns, determined to explore inside the creepy house. During another ceremonial offering, they have no idea what their camera is capturing. Did you see it? The team is completely unaware that something seemed to walk by the window upstairs. After careful deliberation, the two men decide to climb the rotten stairs up to the house. Once inside, they see something absolutely horrifying. In an incredibly bizarre turn, a disembodied head can be seen sitting on top of a wooden support beam. The team's host records as he runs away in fright. When the guys go back upstairs, there are no signs of the head, nor are there any signs of anyone or anything having ever been there. So did the investigators capture the paranormal activity that drove away the home's owners? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, RC Fun TV. Cradle Creeper. Proud parents Kaylee and Stewart have a TikTok account dedicated to their newborn daughter, Ren May. The account usually chronicles happy experiences from the young family's life. So when this next video was posted, their viewers were shocked. Night vision cameras first capture a bizarre unexplained shadow in the upper left corner of the room. Then what seems like a creepy little hand can be seen clawing at little Ren May's crib mattress. The newborn sleeps right through it, but Dad Stewart hears the noise and wakes up. And just as Stewart looks over at the crib, the hand quickly disappears out of sight. Parents Kaylee and Stewart are very disturbed by the incident and say that they have no idea what they captured on camera. The Final Night Alexander Labuzov from Russia says that he's been living in the same apartment for over three years when suddenly and inexplicably strange paranormal things begin to happen around his home. Loud unexplained noises would wake him up in the middle of the night. Things around the house would move on their own 
And scariest of all, one night when he was in bed, sound asleep, someone or something suddenly grabbed onto his wrist, squeezing hard. He jerked his arm away and lurched out of bed, searching his room. But there was no one there. He says that the paranormal activity in his apartment just increased over time until eventually he decided to just move out. So Alex is set to move out of his apartment the next day, but he decides to try to record the strange supernatural activity one last time. This video was meant to be Alex's last night in his apartment. First, he sits in front of his camera and explains what's been going on in his apartment. As he's talking, he hears something strange. Я сразу же скачу, включил свет. Это не может не Something moves somewhere in the apartment and Alex believes it might have been the kitchen cabinet door. He decides to set up his camera in his bedroom and leaves for two hours to meet up with a friend. Hello? Да, 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 сейчас приеду, ага. Давай, давай, давай. Alex turns off the light and leaves. But what happens while he's gone is truly bizarre. Alex returns home and just goes to bed. The next day, he discovers that his landlord is unavailable to pick up his apartment keys. And after reviewing his footage, Alex is unsatisfied with the potato quality video he has recorded in his dark apartment. So he decides to stay one more night, this time leaving the camera recording but with the lights on. Just like the night before, he again leaves to meet up with a friend. The camera captures something downright creepy.
Alex is shocked when he comes home as he discovers that his camera has somehow flipped upside down all on its own. He grabs the camera and begins to film his thoughts on the strange situation. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Я смотрю, у нас сегодня рыбный день. Охереть вообще. Что там осталось? Слушай, ну вообще жесть. Ну что могу сказать? Это был последний день, поэтому мы уже... А до усрачки, ё... Это можно вообще... А, блядь... Так... A pair of legs can be seen standing right behind Alex in the doorway. The legs appear to have no torso and disappear before Alex can even turn around. So, did Alex capture proof of the paranormal in his apartment, or is it illusion? I leave it up to you to decide. The Ghost of the Mosh Pit Now most of the time we think of creepy paranormal video as occurring in the dark, and maybe in creepy old abandoned places. But here's a video that's from a live daytime heavy metal music festival in San Bernardino, California in 2011. And just watch very closely, because it's about to get weird. So a very big guy goes charging into the mosh pit when suddenly he seems to get clotheslined by someone or something that is completely invisible and he goes flying backwards. Now that would be weird enough, but his friend helps him up and then he seems to get forcefully yanked backwards again by some unseen force. He even seems to get dragged backwards along the ground. So is this just the ghost of an angry metal fan? Is this guy just an incredible mime? Or what happened here? You tell me. Cries from Beyond. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Peter Canova. Peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in Des Moines, Iowa that had been abandoned for over 10 years. Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was recorded by a tile installer named Javier. Acabo de rellenar, hicimos ese shower y esto. Y desde hace rato vengo escuchando un, un llanto como de niño. Oigan. Pero el pedo es de que aquí en la casa esta pues, no hay. Están, están todos los cuartos vacíos. Y me da miedo ir al basement, pero. Hola. La verga. 
No hay nada. Güey, no mames. No mames. The loud cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. Javier checks every room but finds no one. Suddenly, there's an unexplained loud bang from somewhere, and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return to the house again. Wait, no mames. Hanging around. Japanese paranormal investigator Gachan from the YouTube channel Clip Store sets out to investigate a creepy old abandoned house in Nagasaki, Japan. The house is said to be extremely haunted. Locals claim that there is a sinister curse on the property after a family mysteriously passed away inside the home under absolutely horrible circumstances almost 15 years ago. As the home is fairly small, Gachan decides to go alone and brings only his camera. Once inside, things quickly get very creepy. Calendar. The paranormal investigator believes he might not be alone inside the house and heads upstairs to investigate. Gaichan finds shattered glass and creepiest of all, a knife. Soon after, he hears the sound of a bell coming from somewhere inside the house. He searches every room, but he finds nothing and no one to explain the creepy sound. Eventually, the ghost hunter has had enough of the creepy, unexplained noises and decides to just go home. As he makes his way down the old, creepy stairs, 
he captures something absolutely horrifying. A pair of legs can be seen dropping from the ceiling at the top of the stairs right behind the ghost hunter. Gai Chan leaves the abandoned house having no idea what he has just recorded until he reviews his footage at home. The horrifying sight of the creepy unexplained legs shocks him and his viewers. And now, Gai Chan believes that the house is truly haunted. But either way, true or not, the footage is very disturbing. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. Oh dear. Terence Leonio from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing for TikTok and YouTube. One day he decides to stream live and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. All right. Oh. And there's the deer, but did you see it? Terence seems to have caught the attention of something else lurking in the woods. Several strange slim figures seem to be hiding in the trees behind the deer. Terence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. But what do you think Terence's singing could have summoned from the deep Canadian woods? child's play. Facebook user Ashley Hammond believes that throughout her life she's always had something paranormal attached to her. She says that no matter where she goes, spooky things always happen. When Ashley moves to a new home in Utah, she starts to see her children walking up and down the staircase on random occasions. Now usually Ashley's children walking up and down the stairs would be completely normal. But you see, this happens when Ashley's children are asleep, or sometimes when they're not even at home at all. Ashley believes that she might be seeing something supernatural that is mimicking the appearance of her children. Now Ashley wants to prove that she is not just imagining these strange phenomena, so she buys a security camera and points it at the staircase. Then one night when all of her children are in bed asleep, this happens. The camera captures a dark figure with glowing eyes that seems to walk up the staircase. A figure that has no visible lower body. So what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. Lady in the Water Debbie Morales and her friends are tubing down the canals of the Isabella River in Puerto Rico when she begins to record with her phone. Debbie can be heard screaming and laughing until her camera catches something in the water that quickly makes her lose her voice. Debbie posted the video to Facebook saying that she saw a scary apparition in the water. She asked friends to take a look and see if they saw the same thing in the video. And they did. Online viewers speculated that the image could be anything from the ghost of a drowning victim to a body in the water. And some even went so far as to suggest that it might be a mermaid. Hmm. 
Now the most bizarre part of this video is that whatever this is almost seems to lunge toward Debbie before disappearing back into the water. But what do you think? Is this just a strange trick of the light or a reflection? Or did Debbie catch something supernatural on camera? You decide. Out of left field. For over a decade, Jim Barari worked hard to find the perfect home for her wife, Heather, and their six-year-old daughter, Ray. She eventually found an amazing colonial home in Pennsylvania that was built in the 1700s. The house sits on a 50-acre plot of farmland that also has a large renovated barn and two cottages. But soon after the renovations were finished, strange unexplained events begin to occur on the property. The family began to hear terrifying noises and bangs and even started to see odd shadow-like figures in the middle of the night. They decide to install security cameras in and around their home. And late one night, their outdoor security camera captures something chilling. Someone or something can be seen limping along behind Jen's home. Whatever it is, it makes a very eerie and unsettling moan or screech. At first, Jen isn't sure what to believe and hopes it's just one of her friends or neighbors playing a very strange prank. But over the course of the next three months, the activity becomes more and more unexplainable as the events intensify inside Jen's home. And now, whatever is going on, seems to start to affect her daughter, too. I know that is not moving right now. Don't even. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, like, I'm sorry that I curse and... Okay. Okay, can you stop? Oh my God. Okay, please stop. Honey, what's going on? Baby, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, what's up, baby? Come here. What's up, honey? Objects move around and fall on their own, and Jen finds her daughter standing on her bed in the middle of the night, just staring vacantly at nothing. Eventually, Jen becomes convinced that she's dealing with real paranormal activity. She records another video to tell about the unexplainable events that she is experiencing. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. The last two nights have been f***ing awful. I'm gonna just update you guys really quickly. Um, I'm in the barn house right now. I'm here alone. I'm hearing constantly. Last night I watched like a bald man walk out of the f***ing pond. I'll show you where it is. It's It was f***ing insane. This is what I keep hearing. And I'm home alone. Hello? Can you stop? The f out! 
Oh my god, that's creepy. This clock here scared the shit out of me. Be here with me, like whatsoever. Hello. Like, I don't know. And my reflection's creeping me out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. That's just my hair, okay. Hold on, I need to watch this. Guys, I wanted to show you the pond, but please tell me you see that. There's something, it looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to God, what the was that? Jesus, and there's a light out in the God garage. This is so creepy. Hmm. Oh my god, big it's okay. It's okay. Holy sh what the f honestly. Okay, let's go. A shadow figure can be seen standing behind Jen in the reflection on the TV screen. She quickly spins around, but there's no one there. Then as Jen is looking out the window, another figure can be seen darting past the hallway right behind her. A loud bang frightens both Jen and her cat. And with that, she has had enough. Jen decides to just collect her pets and leave. So what do you think is going on at Jen's farm in Pennsylvania? Jen explains that she is currently seeking help from paranormal professionals as she can't move out and wants her family to be safe. You can watch all of Jen's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, Jay Barari. No entry. As with most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though there's tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. とりあえず、ゲストだ。誰も入ってたら入るでしょ。もう入ってください。出るんだから。ここの2階あるじゃん。ここ。2階の部屋。おお。2階の部屋。ここどうか。ここどうかない。ここめっちゃ広い。おお。お前。でも、強いで。なんか知
Lee has become somewhat of a regular featured channel on my top fives as the activity in his home just seems to get more and more violent. Now if you want to see what I'm talking about, I highly recommend that you check out Lee's channel where he shares all the evidence that he's captured over the last two years. So, in a shocking new video that Lee has uploaded, the paranormal entity that terrorizes his family is captured once again. Lee and his wife Stacy are fast asleep in bed, and then this happens. Lee's wife Stacy is fast asleep when a dark shadow like figure slowly seems to move over to her bedside. Then, without warning, Stacy is pulled violently out of bed, injuring her back. Lee says that the event has left them absolutely terrified. Stacy left the house that night to sleep in a caravan outside in their yard, too scared to go back inside the house. The couple says that they have no idea what to do about the violent paranormal activity and that they have tried everything they can think of to get rid of the dark entity that seems to inhabit their home. Be sure to follow Lee's encounters with the paranormal over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted Brothers Keeper. Paranormal investigators Victor, Paolo, and Samuel from the YouTube channel Investigaso Sobrenatural are contacted by a distraught woman. She claims she's been violently haunted since her brother passed away from an accidental overdose in the bathroom of her family home in Brazil. She believes that her brother never left and that his tormented soul is angry and is attacking her and her family. The woman, whose identity is kept anonymous, says that she believes that the stress of the haunting led to her mother's recent passing. Soon after their arrival, the investigators begin to witness the violent poltergeist activity for themselves. Olha, o, pelo que eu entendi, né, seu irmão está fazendo manifestação aqui, o clima está muito pesado. Não precisa chorar, fica calmo, fica tranquilo, tá bom? Deixa eu ver. Tá bem não, Olha, vai ficar tudo bem. É, você falou que seu irmão morreu aqui nessa casa, né? tiraram a vida dele dentro de um banheiro. Tem como me mostrar onde foi esse banheiro? Sabe, no banheiro ali. Esse aqui, né? Já começou! Por favor, meu Deus, meu Deus! Como você vai me deixar em paz? Você calma, você calma. Meu Deus, cara. Calma, calma. Respira fundo. Respira fundo. Respira fundo. Calma. Ó, oh, ele só quer assustar, entendeu? Só quer te, te deixar desequilibrado, entendeu? Quer fazer com que a gente fique assustado, entendeu? Nervoso. Respira fundo. Fica calmo, entendeu? Pense em Deus. Pense em coisas boas, tá bom? Tá bom, respira fundo. A gente tá aqui contigo. Isso, calma. Viu? Ele só quer tentar assustar a gente. É só um, um, mais um desequilibrado, só isso, tá certo? Você tem condições de continuar? É. Porque é importante. Tem, não tem? Pronto. É, me mostra como foi que o seu irmão faleceu. Calma, calma. Calma, calma. Pera. Calma, fica calma. Respira, entendeu? Mas quando ele caminha. Foi espelho. O espelho quebrou sozinho. Meu Deus. Registrou isso, câmera. Tô dar arrepiado, cara. Vai, filma aí. Tu viu isso? Olha isso aí também, Paulo. Até esse que é pra cuidar. Toma espelho, o espelho, também o espelho, o espelho. Toma espelho, aí. É isso, gente. Meu Deus. Respira, respira, respira. Ó, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Mas qual é que tu pegar a cadeira? Pensa em coisas boas, coisas positivas, né? Foca em Deus. Olha, olha, olha pra mim. Olha pra mim. Olha pra mim. Né? Pensa em coisas boas, tá bom? Vai, senta aqui, ó. Vou ficar dando. 
Vem. Vem. Senta. Tô arrepiado, cara. Ó. Oh. Olha, olha pra mim. Calma, calma, respira. Respira. Kitchen plates fall and cookware begins to shake. Then when the woman points out where the bathroom is, something appears to almost punch at her through the curtain. A mirror in the bathroom breaks into pieces, but when they check the room, there's no one there. The woman becomes so upset from the incident that the investigators decide to have her leave. Now, in an attempt to calm the angry spirit, the men gather around a table where the man's body was temporarily placed before his burial. They light candles on the table and begin to discuss the situation. But then, things just get weirder. Aí, aí é pra, pra vocês verem, né? Ó, direto, acontece. Ele, ele, Pega ajuda aqui, não. Pega, calma, calma, calma. Respira, calma, calma, calma. Respira. 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 Segura aqui a fumadora, segura, segura. The door slams open and the team's cameraman drops to the floor from an extreme panic attack. The investigators look after him and after a necessary break, they continue their investigation. In an attempt to calmly communicate with the aggressive spirit, investigator Paolo volunteers to lie down on the table in hopes of creating a connection with the spirit. Aí, tu tem certeza que quer fazer isso? Já quero ver, né? Tô curioso porque eu quero, né? Eu quero que ele consiga é, entender é, qual é o nosso objetivo, né? Porque a gente está aqui, entendeu? Porque na, na mente dele, ele acha que a gente está provocando, né? Ele está expulsando a gente. Entendeu? É até uma oportunidade, né? De, de ele baixar a vibração e tentar a comunicação, né? Uma, pelo menos uma comunicação mais amigável, né? As Paolo is explaining his intention, what looks like a ghostly apparition seems to appear behind team member Victor. Paolo lies down on the table, and what happens next is downright terrifying. If you want to see materialize do Paulo, pode se, se, se apresentar aqui, né? Consente sua energia. Se quiser pegar no, no, no braço do Paulo, na perna dele, no pescoço do Paulo, né? Vai, Paulo, fica à vontade. Se concentra. Tenta pegar no pescoço do Paulo. Meu Deus do céu. Aqui. Olha, olha, ó. Meu Deus. Piado. Você não vai assustar a gente, entendeu? Deus é poderoso. Deus é maior que você. Você não, não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Deus é muito maior que você. Você não vai assustar a gente. Você não vai assustar a gente. Ele tá querendo desafiar. Acho que ele pensa que a gente quer bater de frente com ele. Tô me tremendo todinho, cara. Olha isso, ó. Doors from a cabinet violently slam open and closed on their own. Now the previously fearless ghost investigators seem to get just a little bit rattled by the extreme activity. They are completely unsure how to continue. And not long after this incident, they decide to leave the property. So what do you think is going on in this family home in Brazil? Could this really be the brother's spirit lashing out at his own family from the great beyond? Or could there be something a bit more sinister haunting this house? Let me know down in the comments. Exploration gone wrong. 26 year old Magnus Rizmir has always had an interest in hiking and his YouTube channel is dedicated to his explorations of the beautiful countryside of Norway. Almost all of his videos show him hiking, canoeing, or camping, except for one. There is one very bizarre video that Magnus claims was sent to him by a friend. Oh, well. Gamle driten her. 
harness. Magnus's friend is out hiking in the middle of nowhere and discovers an old abandoned house. He decides to investigate inside but regrets his decision almost immediately as something or someone scares the living out of him. Now whether this video is paranormal, a prank, or maybe even just a very unlucky encounter with a squatter, we'll never know. But what do you think? Real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Followed home. Now, longtime viewers of my channel might remember that almost one year ago, I featured a series of videos by a young Dutch woman named Sabia L. Sabia claimed that her apartment in the Netherlands was haunted by something that lurked in the shadows. Something dark and sinister. As time went by, the paranormal activity in Sabia's apartment intensified, becoming so terrifying that Sabia began to live in abject fear of whatever evil presence might be haunting her home. Nine months ago, Sabia L suddenly just stopped posting to YouTube entirely, leaving her concerned fans and followers wondering just what happened. But then, just three months ago, Sabia made a surprise return to her YouTube channel. She posted only one short video. The post was a positive one, letting her followers know that she had finally saved up enough money to move out of her terrifying haunted apartment. The 30 second video shows Sabia giving one final walkthrough of the empty apartment. Her optimistic video title proclaimed, Last Video, Haunted Apartment in the Netherlands. No more poltergeist activity for me. As you might guess, Sabia L's nightmarish story did not end there. Sabia says that she experienced months of peace and relaxation in her new home. But then strange and disturbing things begin to happen all over again. The odd events quickly became more and more unsettling. One night, the lights in her hallway begin to flicker, so she pulls out her phone and begins to record. She encounters something absolutely horrifying. <laughs> Oh. 
hot dirty. Did you see it? Sabia turns away from the hallway as a light fixture suddenly moves on its own. When she turns back, the hall light has gone out again, and something dark and menacing seems to be waiting there for her. Whatever it is then seems to charge up the stairs, but understandably, Sabia does not follow. Oh. Sabia L believes that the dark malevolent being that haunted her old apartment has now followed her to her new home. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this video as well as all of Sabia L's past terrifying encounters over on her channel, Sabia L. The man who wasn't there. Paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall received a video from a man that says he captured something very disturbing in a quiet Japanese neighborhood. It's late at night and no one is around when the man spots something strange going on with a swing set in a nearby park. He's a little freaked out and believes he might be experiencing something paranormal. So he places his work phone on top of a tall playset and sets it to record. He then takes his personal phone and films as he approaches the swing set. single swing is violently swaying back and forth. But that's not all the anonymous man has captured, because his work phone recorded something absolutely terrifying. The dark creepy figure of a man can be seen standing motionless in front of a tree. Now what makes this footage so disturbing is that as you can see, the other phone didn't capture anyone standing there at all. Could it be that the park is haunted and a dark spirit apparition was caught on camera? What do you think? You can watch this entire creepy video and many more over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. My Instagram is here, my Twitter is there, and TikTok. Hopefully, I'll see you back here for the next video.